Welcome to this short video from All Print Supplies, which will demonstrate how to load textiles for printing on HP Latex L26500, now known as L260, printers. We offer a variety of textiles to cater for numerous applications, and all the textiles in our current range are compatible with the range of latex printers on the market. Due to the nature of textiles, some products may be porous and require the use of accessories. So by following these steps, you will be able to offer a variety of fabric solutions all through your existing latex printer. To give you a better idea of what can be achieved with your latex printer and our range of textiles, we have created this video to help our customers get to know how to use the platen covers and accessories to print textiles on HP latex printer models. This guide is suitable for HP latex printers L26500 and L28500 and covers the printer accessories that are designed to help protect your printer and make printing textiles easier. You will most likely be familiar with most of these tools already, but here is a quick recap on the essential accessories you will need to print on textiles. Platen covers are plastic covers which fit onto the platen that is found on the printer bed. They are designed to catch the ink and prevent it from going into the internal areas of the printer. To order these, you will need the following code. HP product number B2W90A. The loading tool is to assist loading soft materials into HP printers prior to printing. It is designed to prevent flexible substrates such as textiles from snagging and to load the substrate straight and crease free. The tension bar provides tension to keep your substrate flat and in line on the printer which helps to maximise print quality. Edge guards keep the substrate edges in place and protect the material as it passes under the print head during printing. They are an essential component to avoid the print head crashing and prevent snagging the substrate. Platen covers are simple to put in and remove as required. Platen covers slot into the recessed areas found on the platen. They are designed to overlap on the platen as shown. Use as many platen covers as necessary to completely cover the width of the material you are printing. You can cut the covers to size with a pair of sharp scissors to make them fit your printer's platen area. You can see from the photo shown here that platen covers do a great job of protecting your printer from what would otherwise be an inky mess on the platen and or inside the printer, which could potentially result in ink stains transferring onto future print jobs. Using platen covers will also help avoid future maintenance issues if the printer is not kept clean. The loading tool is designed to provide soft materials such as textiles with a firm leading edge that fits easily into the nip of the printer rollers and makes the take up of the material much more secure and hassle free, easily allowing the material to pass through the S bend on the printer as it loads. Within the substrate load menu, select load with accessory and then follow the full instructions as laid out on the printer's control panel screen. The printer's control panel screen will guide you through this simple loading process from start to finish. Once the textile is loaded, lower the blue lever and the printer will then automatically begin to check substrate. Once complete, you will be asked to select your type of material under the Select Substrate category. The printer will then continue to check the substrate and feed the material out to allow you to remove the loading tool accessory. Once you have removed the loading tool accessory, you will be given the option to load the take-up reel on the printer control panel screen. Select the Load Take-Up Reel Now option. Once selected, you will be asked to advance the material on the Advanced Substrate to Take-Up Reel option. Then simply follow the on-screen control panel instructions in full. Secure the material to the take-up reel with masking tape, as shown here. We then recommend performing one revolution of the fabric around the core to ensure the material does not come off the roll. The tension bar provides tension to keep your substrate flat and in line on the printer, maximising print quality. The printer will automatically lower the material to allow you to attach the tension bar as shown here.
Once the material is taut, fold down the loading table. Edge guards are an essential component to avoid the print head crashing and to prevent snagging on the substrate. There are two edge guards. These keep the substrate edges in place and protect the material as it passes under the print head during printing. On the back of the edge guards are three pins designed to fit into the holes found on the printer platen, and these slot in as shown here. And that's it! You have successfully loaded your printer and your textile is now ready to print. We hope by watching this video we have dispelled any apprehension you may have held about printing soft materials such as textiles on your latex printer. And as you can see here, you can now print on even the most porous of materials such as our leopard fabric, which has a very high hold to fabric ratio. You now have the knowledge to start printing with these great materials and add them to your product offerings. Visit our fabrics page for the full range of printable textiles we have to offer using the web link as shown on screen now. Thanks for watching our short video to demonstrate how to load textiles for printing on HP Latex L26500 printers. For more product application videos from All Print Supplies, visit our YouTube channel or our website allprint.co.uk for the very latest information and product news. Or contact our sales offices on the number shown at the bottom of your screen now.